Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson. Today at the lesson we are working with a text. We are reading an abstract from a book Jane Eyre and discussing it. So we are working with the text and its characters. Uh, to begin with, we will answer the questions given on page 34, exercise 1. What do you know about Charlotte Bronte? Name some novels of her. What is Jane Eyre about? And then we will read biography to check. So try to answer the questions. Well, let's read the biography. Charlotte Bronte was born in Yorkshire, England. After her mother's death in 1821, Charlotte was sent away to school by her aunt. The poor conditions there affected her health badly. After finishing school, Charlotte first worked as a teacher and then as a governess for various families in Yorkshire. She wrote for novels, one of which, The Professor, was published two years after her death. She also wrote Shirley, Villet, and her most popular novel, Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre tells the story of an orphaned girl who is brought up by her unkind aunt and cousin John, Eliza and Georgina until she is eventually sent away to an awful school. The book then follows Jane's difficult life until she finally finds love and happiness. Jane Eyre has been made into several successful films and TV series and is one of the most well-known and best-loved books in English literature. Check how exact you answered the questions. Now we are listening and reading the text. Exercise 2a, page 34, and exercise 6, page 35. Jane Eyre, Gateshead Hall. John had not much affection for his mother and sisters, and a strong dislike for me. He bullied and punished me not two or three times in the week, nor once or twice in the day, but continually. Every nerve I had feared him, and every morsel of flesh in my bones shrank when he came near. There were moments when I was bewildered by the terror he made me feel, because I was helpless to do anything about his threats or his inflictions. The servants did not like to offend their young master by taking my side against him and Mrs. Reed was blind and deaf on the subject. She never saw him strike or heard him abuse me, though he did both now and then in her very presence, more frequently, however, behind her back. Habitually obedient to John, I came up to his chair. He spent some three minutes in thrusting out his tongue at me as far as he could, without damaging the roots. I knew he would soon strike, and while dreading the blow, I thought about the disgusting and ugly appearance of him, who would shortly deal it. I wonder if he read that idea in my face. For all at once, without speaking, he struck suddenly and strongly. I tottered, and on regaining my balance, moved back a step or two from his chair. 
That is for your impudence in answering Mama a while ago, said he, and for your sneaking way of getting behind curtains, and for the look you had in your eyes two minutes ago, you rat. Accustomed to John Reed's abuse, I never thought of replying to it. My worry was how to endure the blow which would certainly follow the insult. What were you doing behind the curtain? He asked. I was reading. Show the book. I returned to the window and fetched it. You have no right to take our books. You are a dependent, Mama says. You have no money. Your father left you none. You ought to beg and not to live here with gentlemen's children like us. And eat the same meals we do. And wear clothes at our mama's expense. Now, I'll teach you to rummage through my bookshelves. For they are mine. All the house belongs to me. Or will do in a few years. Go and stand by the door. Out of the way of the mirror and the windows. I did so. Not at first aware of his intentions. But when I saw him lift the book and get ready to hurl it. I instinctively moved aside with a cry of alarm. Not soon enough, however. The volume was flung. It hit me, and I fell, striking my head against the door and cutting it. The cut bled. The pain was sharp. My terror had passed its climax. Other feelings took over. Wicked and cruel boy, I said. Y you are like a murderer. You are like a slave driver. You are like the Roman emperors. I had read Goldsmith's History of Rome, and had formed my opinion of Nero, Caligula, etc. Also, I had drawn parallels in silence, which until now I had never thought to declare aloud. What? What? He cried. Did she say that to me? Did you hear her, Eliza and Georgiana? I'll tell Mama, but first... He ran headlong at me. I felt him grasp my hair and my shoulder. I really saw in him a tyrant, a murderer. I felt a drop or two of blood from my head trickle down my neck and was aware of deep suffering. These sensations, for the time, predominated over fear. I don't very well know what I did with my hands, but he called me Rat! Rat! and bellowed out aloud. Help was near him. Eliza and Georgiana had run for Mrs. Reed who was upstairs. She now came upon the scene, followed by Bessie and her maid Abbott. We were parted. I heard the words. Dear, dear, how disgraceful to fly at Master John. Did ever anybody see such a picture of passion? Then Mrs. Reed said, Take her away to the red room and lock her in there. Four hands were immediately laid upon me and I was taken upstairs. Unit 2. So, we looked through the text, we listened to it. Now you can do the task, true, false or not stated. You stop the video, you work with the text and with the sentences given. Well, check in what you have got. John bullied Jane occasionally. It's false. Mrs. Reeds chose to ignore John's bad treatment of Jane. It's true. John usually bullied Jane when Mrs. Reed wasn't looking. It's true. John was angry because Jane had a book that he wanted to read. False. The book that John threw at Jane hit her on the head. Not stated. Jane compares John to a Roman emperor. It's false. Mrs. Reed came into the room after she heard John's shouts. It's false. Jane was blamed for the accident. It's true. 
I hope you managed. Now, in the text there were some underlined words and some synonyms are given in exercise 3a. Your task is to match. Let's have a look at them. Confused, soon, feeling of love or fondness, feeling anxious, unhappy about something that will or may happen, supporting me, doing something without being seen or heard, used to, shouted in a deep angry voice, search for something in careless or hurried way, flow slowly. Stop the video and find the synonyms. Well, I hope you managed. Check if you did everything correctly. Affection, feelings of love or fondness. Bewildered, confused. Taking my side, supporting me. Dreading, feeling anxious or unhappy about something that will or may happen. Shortly, soon. Sneaking, doing something seen or heard. Accustomed to, used to. Rummage, search for something in careless or hurried way. Trickle, flow slowly. Blowed, shouted in a deep, angry voice. Well, working further. There were some words we probably have never used in your usual everyday conversations. Trickle, hurl or grasp. In the text you came across them. Let's try to put them into the sentences. Don't forget to change the form. He, the ball high into the air. He, hurled. The baby was nervous and his mother's hands for security. Grasped. The water just out of the tap. Trickled. Remember these words. Now, sometimes in uh, some stories we use such a thing like hyperbola. He is old. It is neutral. He is older than the hills. It means he is very, very, very old. She is forgetful. Try to make up a sentence using some uh, comparisons. She is so forgetful that you need to remind her of her name from time to time. I've already told you. I've already told you a million of times. He's very funny. He is so, f so very funny that I nearly died laughing when spending time with him. So, after having done all these exercises, you are to do your homework. Reread the text about this quarrel and put the characters in the modern society. Imagine the story is taking place today. Write the story. Think about where the characters are, what they wear, how John mistreats Jane and why, what other characters take part, what happens in the end. So you are to write a short story about the characters of the book 
who came to our society. That's all. Goodbye.